release the Kraken. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault. You're watching Animal Logic, and this month we're doing animals from Game of Thrones. House Greyjoy's sigil is a golden kraken on a black field. Krakens in Westeros are very similar to krakens on Earth. Most believe that they're mythical creatures, while some sailors hold true to the idea that they're massive cephalopods roaming the oceans, attacking pirate ships and causing mischief. But here's the thing. This time, sailors are right. Meet the giant squid. At up to 13 meters long, they rival a school bus in length. The only squid longer is the colossal squid, but more on that in a minute. As smart as we think we are, we know nothing, <coughs> Jon Snow, or at least very little, about deep sea creatures. Living up to a thousand meters underwater, giant squid largely remain a mystery, likely being the origin of the Kraken myth. Sightings and descriptions go really far back. Aristotle, in the 4th century BC, described a large squid that was up to five arm lengths long. In the 1st century AD, Roman philosopher Pliny the Elder described a 9 meter long squid weighing 320 kilos. 1861 saw the capture of a portion of a giant squid by the French, and a painting of the incident made it look much larger than it likely was. But there were still no photographs of live giant squid, and biologist Richard Ellis described it as the most elusive image in natural history. Yet, 2001 would see a larval giant squid caught on camera. In 2002, a live adult giant squid was photographed on a beach in Japan. But it wouldn't be until 2004 that a live adult was captured on camera in its natural habitat. The photographs were the result of two years of work by two Japanese scientists. Off the coast of Tokyo, they dropped a baited line and camera 900 meters deep, and eventually the giant squid was caught on camera. There is some debate about the first video of a live giant squid, whether it was in 2006 or 2012, but either way, it was no easy feat. The reason giant squids are so enormous is probably due to where they live. Animals that live in the depths of the ocean are often much larger than their shallow water counterparts. This is called deep sea gigantism and is found in other species as well, like the giant isopod, or the giant amphipod, or the giant oarfish. Not the most creative names, I know. Like all squid, the giant squid, Archituthus, is an invertebrate, which means that it has no backbone, or any other bones for that matter. In fact, its razor-sharp beak and the lenses on its eyes are the only solid parts of its body. Unlike the octopus, squid intelligence is very difficult to measure. Octopuses can be easily kept in captivity, because in the wild they live in small dens and spend their time manipulating shells and rocks, so it's easy to give them a puzzle to solve. But squids spend their lives swimming in the open ocean. Their eyes, which on a giant squid can be the diameter of a basketball, have a very hard, clear lens over them that you can actually place over text and use as a magnifying glass. The eyeball is covered in a reflective material that reflects light away from their massive eyes, so the predators have trouble seeing them. And because we've reached that part of the video, let's talk about their meter-long penises! Giant squids have a non-traditional way of making babies. There is a lot of debate about the specifics of giant squid reproduction, but the leading theory is that the male blasts his sperm at the female, where it's absorbed by her arms, inseminating her. Hey, at least we're not talking about anal glands. The giant squid penis is also rather difficult to distinguish from its tentacles, and there is some debate as to whether or not it was prehensile, meaning it could grab things. Never shake a giant squid's hand. Or a Greyjoy's for that matter. They cruise the deep oceans propelled by internal jets, searching for prey. And recent evidence suggests that they are quite the aggressive predators. They are so big that they don't have to fear attacks from other animals, except sperm whales, who seek them out just like you might seek out calamari. But the squid won't go down without a fight, and beached sperm whales will often be found with deep scratch marks, sucker marks, and bite marks from their battles. Scratch marks? 
Did I forget to mention that the colossal squid, which can be up to 14 meters long, live 2.2 kilometers underwater and weigh up to 495 kilos, have razor sharp hooks on their tentacles rather than just suckers? Maybe what interests us about the giant squid isn't so much that it's giant, but that it's a modern day unknown. It's a rare thing today to not know everything there is to know about something, but the giant squid remains, for the most part, a mystery. Maybe the Greyjoy's words should be, we do not know. So what Game of Thrones animals should I check out next week? Let me know in the comments and please subscribe for more episodes of Animal Logic every week. Thanks for watching.